Hey there creators, today we're going to explore the magical world of film halation. You know, that vintage look that adds a dreamy, hazy effect to your videos. It's the perfect way to inject some classic Hollywood charm into your film. And guess what? You don't have to dig through dusty old film archives to achieve this look. Thanks to Film Halation Pro and Bloom by FCPX Full Access, you can now add the perfect touch of nostalgia to your work with just a few clicks. This powerful plugin pack not only includes the Film Halation Pro plugin, but it also comes with a Bloom plugin to help you take your visuals to the next level without any expensive lens filters. I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can download this and go and check it out for yourselves. Halation is a look found in cinema that was shot on analog film. It's characterised by a hazy, dreamy effect that occurs when light reflects back onto the emulsion of the film, causing a diffusion of light across contrasted edges or around light sources. You've definitely seen this in cinema without realising it. Although it's not something film directors necessarily wanted at the time or even knew they were doing, since we've all started to use digital cameras now, and there's no emulsion process anymore, halation has become a really sought after effect for filmmakers. So I've opened up Final Cut Pro and you can see here I've got this clip of this living room. It's a relatively boring clip, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it's gonna work just great. You can see we've got this lovely light source of this natural light coming through the window. But this clip is very sharp. It's clearly shot on a high-end digital camera. And I think we can really add some character to this by adding our Film Halation Pro or our Bloom effect. So if I come over to the right-hand side here, I click on these two boxes. That's gonna open up our effects browser. I'm gonna scroll down to Film Halation Pro and Bloom. And you can see here we've got our effects pack straight away. It's really nicely laid out and easy to navigate. So if I select the clip that I want to apply this to, I come across to Bloom and I double click and it will apply it straight away. And you can see immediately our light source on the right hand side here is lit up. I'll toggle it just so we can see off and on. It's a really nice natural diffused light. You know, the window isn't glowing. It's just it looks almost like there's a haze in the air. It gives this really nice nostalgic feel. So if you want to change your settings with this plugin, you've got to make sure you come across up here and you can toggle these three sliders and that brings up your inspector. And then if you come down, you'll see Bloom has been applied. And here we have four powerful slider controls that we can use to control this plugin. We have power, bleed, level and warmth. Power is going to do exactly what we think it does. It's going to turn the effect up and down. So at the bottom, our window is just how it was. If we come up to the top, you can see that that light source really starts to fill the room. With bleed, this is gonna control how controlled the plugin is. So you can see if we go right down to the bottom of bleed, it's gonna really bring it around our light source. If we go to the top, it's gonna to let it bleed out across the whole room. So you can see zero and 100 is really bleeding across the room out at 100. So I think what you wanna do is you want to keep this around 50, that sort of, that sort of area, and that's gonna make sure that just your light sources are being affected. Level essentially controls the opacity of this effect, so we can either go down to zero and that's going to be the same as having the whole plugin turned off, but if we bring it up to 100, then it's going to be our opacity is at 100%. So you want to use power and bleed to control where in the clip the bloom effect is being applied, and you want to use your level to choose how opaque you want that to be, so how much you want to see it. Warmth, we can turn this up and we can add some warmth to our glow, it's really nice. I wouldn't go over the top with this, so I'd sort of bring it up to here if you want to have some, some warmth added into your light. But what you want to be looking for here is what looks really authentic, because you can really overdo an effect like this and it can look as if you have applied a plugin and the effect we're going here is for a really natural look so let's keep that quite low around 0.25 0.24 let's take a look at how that looks side by side with and without that's really nice but I think we can add even more of a vintage element to this. So if we come down to our plugin pack and we scroll down, you'll see we've got these six tools. We have desaturate, dust and hairs, faded cold, faded warmth, film grain, and soften. And there's a few here that I think are gonna be applicable to this clip to really give it that vintage tone that we're looking for, that vintage film tone. Firstly, I'm gonna add the faded cold plugin. So I'm gonna have my clip selected, I'm gonna double click faded cold and it's going to apply it automatically. Faded cold works quite well with this clip because it's got lots of blue tones in it, the blue sofa, the grey rug, the purple sofa in the back. Again, you don't want to go over the top with this, but I'm just going to drag this down to around about one. You can click this and you can type in the number you want if you want to get precise control. 
And that's just given us a little bit of a desaturated look and it's brought our tones towards the colder end of the spectrum. I'm then going to add dust and hairs. I'm going to double click on dust and hairs. And if we just have a quick look at this, you can see that this has added some really subtle... I'll turn the opacity right up. So you can see we get this really nice dust effect across our clip and it looks like we've got some old film running through our camera. Again, the name of the game here is to get this looking as real as possible, so you don't want to overdo this. So let's bring this back down. About 5% looks really authentic and it just gives this proper aged feel to the film. So finally, I'm going to add some film grain. So if we double click on film grain, it will add it to our clip. For this one, you want to have this so subtle because film grain is something that you can really, really overdo and people can tell it a mile off if it's overdone. You can see if I, add, if I drag this up, we can start to see really, really grainy. It looks terrible. So let's bring this down to 0.01. It's going to give us a really subtle film grain that you can only with a trained eye really tell it's there. And then also just to make this that's even bit more believable, I'm going to drag film grain up above bloom so that our bloom effect sits above the grain. Now let's see how that looks side by side with the unaffected clip. That's really, really nice looking super vintage and really, really authentic. That was so easy to do, took us a few clicks, a couple of drags of a slider and we're there. Now let's take a look at Film Halation Pro. Right, so I have this clip of this guy taking a photograph. It's a really, really lovely clip. Just take a little look at how it plays. It's nice slow, slow motion. It's got a nice little lens flare. It's a really beautiful clip. Now if I add bloom to this clip, you can see how it really blows out our highlights. And of course we have controls that we can really bring us down. We can bring our power down. And that's gonna see, it's gonna bring it around the edges a bit more. Our bleed, we can make sure that this isn't bleeding over too much. And our level, we can just bring the opacity down a bit. We get this dreamlike feel where the clip feels really dreamy, quite vintage. And perhaps like we've got some expensive lens filter on. Now if I get rid of Bloom and I apply Film Halation Pro, you can see we've got a bigger plug in here with a, a few more controls. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to over exaggerate this effect just to show you exactly what it does. And you can see that Film Halation Pro is just a lot more targeted on the contrasted edges, which gives it that really filmic feel. Now, a cool thing about Film Halation Pro is we can also play with the color of the halation. So, you know, for example, if we wanted to make this a blue halation, that would be a strange choice for this clip, but you could do it if you wanted to. Halation with natural light generally tends to be in the orange and yellow end of the spectrum, maybe even a little bit red. There's actually quite a lot of red in this clip, so I'm going to bring it over to the redder side. We then also have our color controls here. We can get color boost, so we can make that color really, really boost, and we can also add some saturation to that, so we could really bring out the red in that. You can see the higher up I go on that saturation, the more red that is going to be. But again, as with all these things, we want them to be subtle, we want them to be believable, so not too much. When we come down to Luma tools here, you can see we've got Radius, Amount, Luma Roll Off, and Shrink Expand. Now these tools are basically going to let you choose where in the clip you want this to be applied to, how extensively you want the halation effect to range across your clip. So with Radius, you can see the higher I go, the more we're going to see this like come into our shadows, go across our borders. With Amount, this is essentially a power slider. This is just going to give it some more oomph behind it. So we're going to get a brighter and a more intense effect. If I pump up the Amount here to show you Luma Roll-Off, Luma Roll-Off is basically going to give the plugin permission to apply the effect into new parts of the clip. This actually isn't a great example to use this one on, but you can see the higher I go with Luma Roll-Off, we can start getting it in some other areas that we weren't getting it in before. Shrink Expand is probably the most useful tool here in terms of achieving an actually authentic look to your footage. So the higher you go with Shrink Expand, the more subtle this effect is going to be, and this is where you can really fine-tune the effect to just give you this beautiful, believable feel to your halation effect. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see we have Shadow Correction. This is essentially a tool you can use to make the plugin play ball with you if it's maybe filtering into places of the clip you don't want it to, namely like inside shadows, inside dark spaces. So in a couple of instances, you might be applying this clip to a silhouetted person and in the shadow of their silhouette, you might be seeing some halation effect. So in that instance, what my tip would be here is to click on the shadows icon here and you get this color slider. 
If we come up to the top, we can see that our halation color is this sort of peachy orange, kind of around around here somewhere. What I would do in this instance is I would roll my color over to the side here, to the opposite side of the spectrum. And what this is going to do is this is going to tell our plugin to apply the opposite color to the halation in the shadows, essentially cancelling out the halation effect in the shadows. Luckily on this clip we don't actually have that problem, so it doesn't have any effect, but that's just a top tip for you guys if you were to run into that problem. So let's take a look at these two clips next to each other with and without Film Halation Pro. So I'm sure you can agree that effect is really subtle, but it is really, really effective to just creating this sort of je ne sais quoi to your, your film. You know, it gives you that feel of this, um, there's something dreamy, there's something vintage about this, but I can't quite tell what it is, but you know it is Film Halation Pro. I'm going to show you another instance here where I think Bloom and Film Halation Pro work really, really well together. So Bloom and Film Halation Pro can actually work really nice together in synchronicity and create a powerful effect. A scenario I think this works really well for is in darker environments where you have a bright light source, especially one that passes across the lens and maybe creates a lens flare or something like that. You know, a lot of cinematic movies, they use this effect so they'll get try and get that sort of anamorphic lens flare if they're using anamorphic lenses. With this one, you can create more atmosphere to your clips and also have a concentrated glow on the light source, which I think is really, really effective. So I've got this clip of this spaceman in a really high-tech looking suit with his light and he's passing the light source across the lens quite a lot and it just looks great. But we can make this look even better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the clip, I'm going to double click Bloom and you can see straight away this adds a really nice atmospheric, it looks like there's some sort of haze in this room. And I'm not going to let this, I'm going to bring my bleed down here because I don't want it taking away from the definition on his face too much. And I think that's going to look just about right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double clip Film Halation Pro. And you can see straight away our halation is coming in but the red tint that is default with this pack is not looking quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the color here and I'm going to bring it over to the blue side of the spectrum so that it fits in more with the color palette of the clip. You can see if I pump up the amount here that our halation effect is just really, really nicely working on those edges where the light sources are. So let's just take a look how that is. It's looking really cool when the light passes over. That looks great. I think we can make this even cooler. I think in a sci-fi application like this, you could pump up the saturation a little bit and the color boost just to really emphasize those cool blue tones that is so popular in sci-fi. And I might play around a little bit with the Luma tools too, just to make sure that everything I want to be affected is and nothing else. There, I think that's looking really cool. Let's take a look at those two clips side by side and let's see which one you prefer. So, so cool. I think honestly there are endless applications to this plugin pack and I'm really excited to see what you guys do with it. This plugin pack from FCPX Full Access is definitely the most affordable way to get this effect. It's also part of the ultimate bundle from FCPX Full Access, which is just $99 for every single plugin pack that they make. That's over 100 packs included. It's something like a $1,600 saving. It's a crazy deal. I totally recommend you guys go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Anyway, we're really excited to see what you guys do with this one, and we'll see you in the next video.